Hi, I'm Crystal. I'm a speech pathologist. I work in private practice. I started out in my speech pathology career um, more than 20 years ago. I graduated from La Trobe University where I studied speech pathology in 2003. And since that time, I've had the opportunity to have a varied and interesting career in schools and in private practice, as well as more recently working for the NDIS. Right now, I work in private practice where I have the opportunity to see a varied caseload. I see young children and primary school, secondary school kids. I also have some young adults on my caseload as well. I'm William's mum. He was born at 26 weeks, so stayed in the NICU for 10 weeks and came out 36 weeks back home and basically stayed home with him for his first 20 months and then he um, attended childcare for two days a week. He's a pretty social child, loves interacting with people, full of energy. William and his mum Cara first came to me when William was two and William had been born prematurely and medically he was very stable and things were going well for him. However, Cara was quite concerned that he wasn't yet speaking. He had very minimal use of words and she felt that he had a speech delay and a language delay. From that time, we were able to work together to give Cara the tools that she needed to help William develop his communication skills. We were able to use some keyword signing to support William to have a way that he could communicate and keyword signing enabled him to be able to say some key messages that a two-year-old may want to say, like being um, finished or wanting more. And this alleviated some of um, William's frustration that he was experiencing. From that time, I've seen William for the past uh, nearly three years, and he has significantly improved in his communication. Will is four and a half now. The structure of his sentences now is amazing just his whole confidence in actually initiating conversations with people, which he wasn't doing before. Like he, you could tell he wanted to, um, you know, speak, but he just couldn't get the words out. But now he's just, he's just the biggest chatterbox. And it's just great to see that how much progress he's had, thanks to Crystal and, you know, the early intervention, how important it really is. When William comes into the clinic, we are able to follow his lead and engage in play activities that are enjoyable and meaningful for him. By doing these types of activities, we're developing William's play skills and we're embedding the communication into real life play and activities. We're able to model language and speech. When William says some words, he might say one or two words we're able to expand on those and model the correct articulation of the words as well as the correct sentence structure. We just want him to be able to confidently communicate happily and, and be confident in that so and just keep progressing in his development um, in other aspects as well. Communicate your way, for me it's about empowering an individual to use the means of communication that's most effective or most comfortable for them. And I think that this could mean using verbal communication, of course. It could mean using an AAC, augmentative, alternative communication device, such as an iPad or another device. It could mean using some sign language or some gesture. There are so many ways that people communicate, even through their behavior, their facial expression, I just think that a person needs to be able to communicate in a way that's comfortable and that those around them can understand their wants, their needs, their thoughts and their ideas.